Skip it up and that up. Hello, everybody. Uh, Richard Review Tech USA here. And last night in RTU streams, I had a stream. What's funny is I wasn't even going to stream last night, but I decided to. And we watched uh, some ordinary gamers or Mudahar's video called Boogie 2988 is completely pathetic. Now, I don't know how it transpired. I don't know if people were baiting Boogie to come on the show or he said he wanted to come on the show. Needless to say, it doesn't matter. I sent him a Zoom link and he came on and we started discussing things about his documentary that just came out. And then I don't know how this transpired because it was all a blur <laughs> because I was more stoned than I've been in over six months. Uh, Mudahar came in. Now, again, I don't know if he was baited to come in or he wanted to come in, but needless to say, I sent him a Zoom link. And then Keemstar showed up in, in, in the chat and wanted Boogie to leave because he said I was milking this and and there was milk all over the place and udders were squeezed. I, I, it was absolutely insane. So here is everything that went down in my live stream last night with Mudahar and Boogie there. And buckle up because it was a hell of a show. Also... Shout out to the Lol Cow podcast because Keemstar told me to shout it out. And if I don't shout it out, he'll cry. And then the tears will fall down his beard and his beard is dyed and the dye will drip on his desk. And if the dye drips on his desk, then he'll have a mess on his desk. And then he said, I'll have to come up there and clean his desk. So there's your, there's your shout out that you're forcing me to do. Enjoy the chaos. I can hear you now, sir. Hey, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing well. I can't talk too long. I'm over here on uh, Twitch at the moment. Okay. Uh, I'm live streaming uh, Super Mario Wonder. Feels good to be playing video games again for a change on live yeah. stream, you know? Normally, I just, like, sit around and bitch about stuff. How are you doing, Rich? I'm doing well. What's going on? What uh, brought you, what not brought you much. today? Not much. Uh, I, somebody asked me, said that you wanted me on here, so I thought I'd come say hi. Yeah. Um, Did you watch the doc? What would you think? I... Uh, it's interesting it's what was your incentive for putting something out so damning about yourself um there's a lot of different answers to that i think i didn't get paid anything though i did get paid two thousand dollars to travel up to cleveland to take some photos and stuff to promote the thing uh but i didn't get like paid to do anything my thought process on it was everyone has like this mystique about me they think that i'm like <laughs> this guy or that guy or whatever. I don't mind admitting what I've actually done. I don't mind admitting that I lost a shitload of money on crypto. I don't mind admitting that I spent a lot of money traveling the coast to coast uh, and spend money on girls. I don't mind admitting that stuff about me. I'm very open about that and I'm comfortable with it. It's the stuff that people think is bullshit about me, right? Like, oh, he's abusive to women and he did this and he did that. I didn't do any of that shit, you know? So I thought, you know, let's make this thing Let's make a piece of art. Let's make YouTube history. Uh, and then there's a quote from Game of Thrones, right? Uh, never 20, who... Let me ask you a question. 2018 definitely wasn't your peak year, and you almost made, before taxes, obviously, half a million. You've had bigger years than that. Where the no, hell did No, 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 that was my peak. What are you, are you insane? No, that was the most I ever made ever, and it's only, only because of sponsors. You realize 90% of the Francis videos either got no ads or very low quality ads. You know that, right? Yeah, but that's a different era, dude. Like, no, that's the entire were... that's the entire time from the, from the first of Francis character, all the way up to the very end. Those videos either got fully demonetized or they got the lowest common denominator ads. And so, uh, Francis videos getting millions of views. I made maybe a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars on each of those. In some cases, I spent more breaking an Xbox or breaking a TV than I made uh, for the Francis sketches. Yeah, the real money was in sponsorships. And I had a bunch of sponsorships in 2018. And um, yeah, those... but that's post adpocalypse, even pre adpocalypse. You can't tell me that you were making bank because you were getting Do you want to know how much money I made through ad AdSense from the beginning of time to now? About okay, one, sure. About, about one to one point two million dollars since two two thousand and seven. About 1.2 is I it, it's less than it's less than 1.6. I know that it might be less than 1.5. I think it's 1, 1.2, 1.3 million. That's what I made across 17 years. That makes no sense. Yeah, that, that I, just I mean, don't I, believe it. Well, I'll send you a screenshot right now if you want to see it. I don't really care. 
I've always been very open about this. I mean, you made then you made half of that in well, that one was, year. No, uh, ad revenue that year was probably fifteen hundred or hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> it was all sponsorships, which is why when people like did that uh, letter organized letter writing campaign to get rid of all my sponsors, they killed me. They killed me. That ended me. When why when you made that much money, did you not pay off your house? Well, dead people don't live in houses, right? And so why pay off a house if you don't plan to live? Right? If, you, if, you blow, if you're going to blow your brains out, if you're going to swallow a bunch of pills, why would you pay off your house? Blow the money you, and then you, blow your brains you out. Keep, yeah, but you seem to keep going to that for all of your bad financial decisions. Well, though. that's because they was because of all, all my bad financial decisions. That's why I made them. I wouldn't have made them otherwise. Why else would I have made them? What would be the reasoning behind it? If, if you're going to live, you, you should keep your money for retirement. If you don't plan to live, you should spend it. That seems pretty obvious. But you are in your situation, and it, it is people. Here's the thing that uh, my main issue is that you put out this documentary that is exposing yeah. everything about you, yeah. but you seem annoyed when people have opinions about a documentary where you want them to have opinions. What, and I, I'm what have I been annoyed? What have I been annoyed by? I've on Twitter, I've seen you not be very happy. No, not at all. Uh, people are entitled. Yeah, one point three million. I can send you a screenshot right now if you want to see it. Um, but that said, one point three million is a tremendous amount of money. I should still have money left. If I hadn't made stupid money decisions, I would have still had it. But no, I'm not annoyed with anybody who's mad about the documentary. You should be. Holy I'm, shit! I'm we even it. have Keemstar here. What the fuck is going on? I'm in the twilight zone right now. So we got Keem Keemstar here. We got we got Bill Gates here. Is Bill Gates here? I like Bill Gates. Give me money. Anyway, by the way, I'm not even supposed to talk about this stuff here. You gotta, you gotta go to the Locale podcast. You want to hear shit like this? We just recorded our first episode. Go follow it here on YouTube. Go follow it on Twitter. It's fucking insane. I go off for 20 minutes about uh, my situation with Mudahar. Mudahar just made a video about me today. Go follow the Locale podcast. You'll be really glad you but did. But video, let me. Let, but but video. What the f by but Boogie? Do you realize, man? Even with the the corner that you backed yourself in you could live stream and be okay dude i'm literally doing it right now i'm there literally doing it right now there you go i'm literally doing it right now but i have to ask you a tough question sure. can you psychologically handle the live streaming i don't know uh time will tell i'm in a probably the best mental health state that i've been in a really long time which is to say not great still uh but it's the best i've really been in and uh, i'm at peace with everything i'm at peace with the polycythemia I'm at peace with the girlfriend. I'm at peace with my body. I'm at peace with my mind. I'm, I'm at peace with my financial situation. And it's, uh, it's a good place to be, I think. Then if and you could handle it, then yeah. you, you, you'll be okay. Because that's where, you know, you, you could do all right. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm doing all right on YouTube, I'll tell you, uh, since these view numbers are up. And I don't think they'll stay up. But I started talking about some video games and stuff. And uh, people seem to really like me doing commentary again. And I'm, I'm enjoying doing commentary again. Go follow me on YouTube if you haven't seen my commentary videos in a while. I think you'll like what I'm doing over there. Do it. Yeah, go follow me on Twitch. You might like what I'm doing there. go consistently and consistently yeah. do it. And you know what, man? Be more positive again. Don't be a misery merchant. I mean, that's. Uh, do, you, do you hear me being a misery merchant tonight? I'm happy as a pig and shit. I'm glad to talk to you, Rich. I haven't talked to you in years. It, it, it's a, you sound, there's a different tone to your voice, though, and I'm trying to. And Keemstar, you could tongue twist my asshole. I'm not milking him. You could come milk my nipples. Jesus Christ. Stop yeah. milking. Listen, yeah. milk my butt cheeks. Everybody go right now. To the Local Podcast, Local Live on YouTube, Local Milking. Live on Twitch, Local Live on Instagram. Here's what you're going to get if you follow that, okay? You're going to see me and Jordy and Tommy C arguing every week. I mean, I basically screamed at Tommy C, and he screamed at me in this last episode, okay? And then on top of that, you're going to get to see Keemstar, who is pretty good at roasting people, Mudahar, who abjectly despises me. I'm telling you, if I was on Mudahar's front porch on fire right now, he wouldn't piss on me to put me out. That's how much he dislikes me. And you're going to get to see Nicholas DiOrio, as well as other guests, come on to that show and roast the living f out of us to our face. It's, gonna, it's a good time. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm actually excited about the show because I, I get to let go, man. I get to just scream at Tommy C. I get to scream at Jordy. I get to have a good f time. That's one of the cool things about this documentary, Rich. 
is it's like they said in Game of Thrones, right? Wear what you are on your sleeve and they you know, wear it as armor and they can never use it against you. I am a guy who wasted his money. I'm a guy who did a bunch of stupid shit and it's in the past and I'm just trying not to do it anymore. I just, I, you, you could keep on bringing up, look, and I'm not trying to downplay being suicidal, but I was, like I was saying earlier in the stream, you could have at least paid off the damn house and then f in that home. But dead people don't live in houses, Rich, and I didn't have enough but to pay off the house. But you're still, you're part. still, which I'm glad, but you're still here. Yeah, well, I mean, mistakes happen. I've, I've made worse mistakes uh, than wasting this money. Look what I did to my body. That's infinitely worse than wasting half a million dollars. You know? Ke Keemstar, I swear to God, I am going to put on one of those, like, the, where, where the women have the nipples, where the, and I'm going to put milk in them, and then you're going to, I'm going to breastfeed you. I'm not milking. I heard Good. Boogie wanted a link, and Boogie, I gave Boogie a link. Oh, I didn't ask for the link. Somebody said you wanted me to come in here, so I thought I would. Oh, we we both had. Oh, we got we both got mine. F then did you have uh, did you have Mike Clum on? You really should. He's a really fun guy to talk to. I did He'll, have Mike Clum on. Yeah, yes. he, I was about to say you do your show. He's, he he's, he likes you. He's a good fan. He, yeah. So he came on. So listen, man. Just my final words. My final statement to you is just be entertaining. Yeah. Well, hey, listen. We've had really entertaining streams in the past, haven't we? Let's do it yes, again. Yes, we have. Let's, yeah, let's do one again. You still sound like you're in shell shock, which I understand. I respect that. Uh, you know, watching this thing has been emotional for me. It's been emotional for everybody. It's emotional for Mike who made the thing. So I get it. I respect it. I understand. But when you're feeling less emotional about it and you want to just hang out and have some fun, let's do that. I'm, and Yes, let's do it. And, and now everybody leave Rich's stream and go follow me on Twitch right now and watch me play Mario. I need the money way worse than Rich does. <laughs> I'm too stoned to think of anything witty. To oh shit! Are you right stoned now. right now? Oh, I'm high as hell. What are you on? This is. Uh, I'm just med just medical marijuana. I Isn't have that like, shit the amazing, spray. dude? If uh, and the spray you got to be careful with because it could like you'll be like completely sober and then ten seconds later <laughs> it drop kicks you in the balls and that's where I'm uh, at right now. I'm all about the edibles, man. Uh, my girlfriend has really severe social anxiety. She does really well with it, though, these days. And the way that she does so well with it is uh, medical marijuana. And uh, so she's pretty consistently, if we have to go somewhere, if we have to do something, we have to film, she gets high first. And, uh, boy, it's, just, it's a wonder drug. It's a wonder drug. The difference between her on her medical marijuana and her not, it's holy f it's night and day. It's night and day. It's beautiful. It's, would, a wonder, I, it's a wonder drug. Yes, audience, I would let Muda on. If Boogie would stay on, that's I can't keep. Yeah, him I mean, if Muda wants to, is, is Muda around? Hi, Muda. Yeah, believe me, I I just want to let it be known if he wants to come on, yeah. I am not stonewalling that. Yeah, if Muda's around, you know, he's welcome to do whatever he wants to do, man. Oh, I mean, at the end of the day, I said this on the Local Podcast. You'll have to wait to hear it there, but I said all my grievances with Muda. I, I have no grievances, and apparently, Muda said his grievances on a YouTube video tonight. And I guess hopefully we're in a good place after that. But I mean, as good as a place can be when a guy openly fucking hates you, you know, that guy openly fucking hates me. Which, honestly, I don't entirely blame him. You know, he, but you want to hear my point of view of it? You got to listen to the Local Podcast. What? You say that, though, it, it sounds like you're disingenuous when you say that, to be honest with you. Oh, what do you mean? Like, you're angry that he is, had this video out about you. I could hear no, it. No, not at all. I knew it was coming. He even gave me a warning that it was coming. I, I, pretty obvious uh, last couple of conversations I've had received that this was coming. zero contributions. Oh, and I, we obviously put That's a, 12 a documentary switch, out there for people to react to. Dollars. Me and Mike have said, if you want to react to it, watch the entire Italiano. thing. Watch it on your live streams, watch it on your YouTube videos, watch it on your YouTube videos, watch whatever you want to do. That's what's out there. Not ever. Watch it. He is what happens when and Alex I don't expect Jones anybody to have a good opinion. I'm surprised that people do have a good opinion. I admit it to some really stupid shit. Mudahar is here. He said, Muda, can I send you a link? I am... I am failing worse than Leafy did right now when he was trying to be a moderator because I'm stoned as hell. <laughs> and I, all right, I'll get you the invite. I am, I am not equipped right now to handle this. I am just being honest. This is a shit show. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But 
I feel like when when uh, I'm trying to play Mario at the same time, so it's a little complicated. By the way, hold on, let me do a little shout outs on my stream. I am, I may need to fucking call Jane. <laughs> Listen, holy. What's up, Lando Commandy? Lando Commandy? As I'm getting shirtless to be the professional that I am, um, so you 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 did not give. A heads up, or Muda didn't give you a heads up, Boogie, because you blocked him, apparently. Yeah, well, no, how what could, I'm you, saying say, how is could like, you say that I gave you a heads up? That doesn't make any sense. Because you've been mad at me for like a week. I knew it had to be coming. I'm not mad at you. I We're mean, just like disgusted no, with to, my to behavior. Be, to be mad thing. at you would mean that you would have to like matter to me, personally. Well, that's true. Okay. I don't get mad at you. I can't. Right. I don't have the time. It's just like, I think you're a compulsive liar is sort of the... I, I respect that. I understand that. I've definitely been an unreliable witness. Uh, How can you say you're like, you respect that? Like, this is the thing that I don't get. Like, you respect that somebody believes you're a compulsive liar? That's a very respectful... Just, that's very respectful That's not respectful. The, that's not respectful. Like, you should be learning to to better yourself instead of well, just saying, am, oh, that's respectful. What are you doing What I'm saying yourself? is I have lied in, in the past. I'm doing my best to not lie. That's but you simple. literally like you, okay so you've lied in the past what have you done very recently because like in the last few months you've literally like blatantly lied <laughs> like that whole boxing fight thing it's funny because catching you in a lie is the easiest what is the, thing what is the, the what did I lie about the boxing fight though? you said that you had fifteen hundred dollars in boxing like uh to pay for boxing oh no lessons. mike clum uh, mike clum said on my live stream he fudged those numbers he fudged those numbers he didn't get those numbers from me He'll openly tell you. And, and so, so hold that, on. You watched this direction. documentary before it came out in its entirety and we're okay with that then? I didn't pay attention to the numbers like most of the text. Like, for example, he said that I was on a drug that I'm not on. Apparently, one of the drugs he wrote the name of, he, I'm on like a muscle relaxer called bupropen or something like that. Mm -hmm. He wrote like bupropazine, which is a drug people take to recover from... Uh, opiate addiction. Oh, thank you, baby. That's so now, so now, now you're implying that the documenter that you worked with is a liar. So no, that, that brings up his, he, no, that I'm brings his entirety he, into that brings his entire like integrity no. and the future yeah. of his channel. No, I'm question. just saying, I'm just saying that he made a couple of mistakes when it came to the numbers, and he came made a couple of mistakes so when it came to the, that, the text. Before that documentary came out, why didn't you call him up and say, "Hey, can you fix that mistake? It's pretty fucked up." Because I didn't. Because it, it is pretty fucked up. I didn't. I didn't really read any of the text. It's not something I was. Paying kind of a lot of attention. We watched it together on. And, 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 and the funniest thing is, it's not even the text, by the way, too. You said it in the documentary. You talked what did about I say? the boxing training, didn't you? Oh, no, I know. I did spend. I did spend more money than I got paid. It's just not that particular way. I could break it down for if you want to know. Okay, but but in that clip, Rich, can you can you put that clip on again where he's discussing his like boxing match? Like his, his the $10,000 and like all the expenses he got? Yeah, We're go all ahead. here, so we might as well just watch it together. Yeah. Where do you where do you know the point? It's in your video. Also, um, do you still have thirty something thousand in crypto right now? That's no, in... I did at the beginning of the year. I've got about well, crypto's up right now, so I'm up to about nine. But about last week, I had about six point seven. I got about. I don't understand why you don't cash that out. Uh, because you only take the loss when you sell it, and like I, I guess the six thousand dollars could disappear tomorrow, but that's not really going to make or break me. But if it goes up, I could definitely use the money. You know, if it goes down a thousand, it's probably not going to make a huge, huge difference. But do you understand if it goes how up thousand, wild it that is? Like, you're complaining about money, and how yeah. much is it worth right now, in asset wise, like according to your app? About nine thousand or so. So I'll cash nine thousand dollars, right? I cash it how out much as is I your need mortgage? It. I cash it out as I need it. So at the beginning of, of December, I'll pull out two thousand and pay my mortgage. It's like a like, savings account. I just treat it like a savings account, except this savings account makes me money sometimes. It's Why? not a savings account because it's literally the most negatively volatile asset you have. I don't know. It's held really steady for the last two years. Uh, yeah, because it lost 99% of its fucking value. Right. So, so how low can it go? Yeah. Like, exactly. What do you mean? That's why yeah. I leave it in there. How low can it go? That's exactly yeah, my why, point. Why wouldn't you, you put you that in? You take that money out and maybe put it into like index funds or well, like if move I that take shit it, around? Well, no, I, I'm going to need it in the next 60 days, roughly. So um, here's what I don't understand. You have $750,000 and you just decide to put all of it into crypto when that money could have went into No, the no, I did not have $750,000. I had 250000 That's what literally the documentary that you were on I understand. Said, That's the most that I either? had was 700000 When I initially invested in crypto, I had 250000 so why did, was, why did you let him write you lost $600,000 in crypto? Because that's about how much I lost. It, 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 my max amount was about 700000 And so if I sold that day, I would have had 700000 The math doesn't make sense. The well, math, the math should make sense. make sense. Well, let me walk you through it, okay? 
Now, let's imagine you have a quarter million dollars, okay? Sure, which is what no. I had. Now you invest no. it, okay? Now it goes up to $800,000, okay? Now if you sold it, then how much money would we have? $800,000, right? But I didn't. I sold it when it was considerably less than that. So, so you're telling me you, you put quarter million in, you made like 750,000, that was your peak, right? Like the yep. asset that was valued. Yep. So why the f wouldn't you cash it out then? Or are you just like greedy? Was it literally like a gamble? Like you, it literally it sounds was, like you're playing fucking roulette. I went to, I mean, it was kind of like gambling, honestly, but uh, I went to bed one night, I was invested yeah, in a John. small shit coin mm -hmm. called, it was either uni or, I don't know, Michael Green could tell you the other one. But one of them was uni, one of them was, I don't know. But I went to bed, and it lost 60% value overnight. I woke up the next morning, and I sold what I had. But uh, that didn't really matter, because I I'd lost. I went from about 700000 back down to about 200000 I mean, that, this is like, this is just, I, I don't even, like, really, like, first off, the math is incredibly uh, weird. I, I feel like what's, we'd probably, what's weird about this, that? We'd probably like. thousand doubles. And then mm -hmm. and adds another 60%. It goes from 250000 to 700000 And mm -hmm. then I went to bed, and the asset lost 80%, 90%. You know what a market crash is, I'm sure. And so the market crashed. And you know how your stocks are worth certain money at one point, and they're worth a different at another. So I woke up the next day. Yeah, I know how the stock amount. market works. You're in the crypto market. This is a yeah. completely degenerate operation, but yes. Well, I understand. You know. I, I so never, after I you got, never... so, so hold on. You put in 250000 You got up to seven fifty. How much did it drop to? Uh, about 200,000, 250,000 over. And you didn't decide maybe I should cash out then? No, you let it go all the way down to 30 after that. Well, I did. I did cash out then. Uh, so but you cashed do you think out $200,000? Yeah, what do you think I've lived off of since 2000 or 2020? I've had to live off so, something. So what was Mike showing in his documentary where you had 30,000 in assets still remaining that, in a crypto account? Well, I put it back into Ethereum, which is a really safe investment. Ethereum and Bitcoin are really safe no, investments it's not, once Christ. they're at the bottom of the market. Jesus Christ. Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum know. are I safe mean, investments. So now you had so now you had two hundred thousand dollars. You couldn't put any of that money into like the index, the S P five hundred, when you know, literally buy the average of a tech stock and like let that raise year after year. I mean, this isn't financial advice, by the way, but right, most yeah. financial no, advice is. That, would no, tell I could you that. have, and that obviously would have been the smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you could have put it into the house because that's clearly a very safe appreciating asset. Yeah, one of the things I really regret. I mean, at this at this point, and I'm very lucky, and I've been open about this. This house says it's worth probably, and point, people pointed this out after the doc. Uh, I wasn't aware of this, but this house's value is closer to like four hundred fifty thousand. I paid two fifty. I owe about one fifty on it. So theoretically, it, it, after closing costs, I could the math. The math that you just told me makes it sound like you put in. Uh, a value of money into cryptocurrency, it raised, and then you lost, but you cashed out roughly around the same value you put in. So it doesn't really little, sound like you lost uh, six hundred thousand dollars in crypto, then, right? It just sounds like you're so gambling. Again, again. Mm -hmm. uh, also, adds, what's also what's the valuation of your house right now, Boogie? Well, like I just said, I I've got about one hundred fifty thousand dollars left on the debt, and it looks like that I could sell it. Zillow tells me I could sell it for four hundred fifty thousand. So it looks. I mean, like, forget Zillow for a second. Have you talked to a realtor or something too? I, this no, is the thing not, about like my video. Yet. This is the thing yet. about the video. Why don't you like again? Maybe there's like a sentimental thing to this house, but like if you can't afford the home, why don't you downsize to like an apartment or like a smaller property? Or well, something? unfortunately, if I want to stay near my doctors and I want to stay near my medical centers, uh, I need to stay in Northwest Arkansas. And Northwest I, Arkansas doesn't have any like apartments they, for you They to go do. Down? You can get apartments here for as cheap as nine hundred to a thousand, but then okay. I would have to kick out one of my roommates who's very close and dear to me. We've lived together for twenty five years. He's my best friend. He's like a brother to me. I don't want to lose him. So then we're gonna have to pay more for a second bedroom. Um, and and so and again, why, why does why don't you and him split the rent with each other? I don't talk about that. He's he's got his personal life and his I, he's yeah. he's other than just. Uh, He's got his personal issues. And I mean, but it sounds like it sounds like you you feel like you want to support this person, and it's great and all, but you can't afford to but keep you yourself afloat, and you can't. So how can you be a how can you add on a dependent? Is the thing right? That's a big problem. I mean, at the end of the day, he does bring in again his life is personal. Let's leave his life personal. It's very important to me. It's very important to him that his life is personal. But, but to it's say, part of you. But it's, it's part an, of it's your a null sum, that you're it's discussing a, it's a, right now. He's currently a null sum game. I don't spend any money on him, uh, and so you don't need to worry about it. 
If I had to move into a smaller apartment, though, I might have to and we'd have to work something out. But if we can keep this house to 2100 instead of paying 1100 somewhere around here, uh, I think it's nice to build equity rather than just give it all to a landlord. And also, renting in Arkansas sucks. You guys may not be aware of this, but landlord... Renting uh, anywhere sucks. Yeah, but especially in Arkansas. In fact, you can Google this. It is the worst Dude, but, state but, in the but nation. But just think rent. about it like this, okay? You, you, how much is your current like home mortgage? Twenty two hundred. Twenty one hundred. Okay, so twenty one hundred dollars versus like nine hundred dollars. That is slashing your like uh, that. That is slashing your housing costs right. by at least fifty percent. And, 50%. and, and if, we, if and when the time comes, that's obviously mm -hmm. something I'll do. But I'd rather. But, just but try here's to the thing: if you more, I'd rather you, try to make more YouTube videos. I'd if try you to don't do it now. Make more money then you don't really have an option. You don't have that leeway in the future. That's the thing, right? Like this is like somebody who has $200,000 in the bank and no income and they want to be adamant in living in their mansion in Los Angeles. Yeah, you can do that for like four or five months, but when that time comes to downsize, you know, you, well, I've had your this long... options to downsize are, are incredibly like difficult boy. because you have no you okay, know, so liquid assets you, to deal with. So you may not know a lot about this, but uh, the audience might not know about it, but I've learned about it in a lot. I've mm -hmm. had this loan for a long time. And so right. when you Good are point, when, you have a, when you have a loan, you're building equity and it's a 15 year loan. So a huge chunk of what I'm putting into the mortgage is mine to keep. And so once once you sit down and do the math, it's way less of a savings than you're thinking. Uh, so if I can keep this house and keep building equity, it's my money to keep. OK, but how much is your house's value raising year after year, though? You live in Arkansas. It's not Los Angeles. Uh, it, I mean, like it went Toronto. from it went from 275 when I bought it in 2015 to 450 now. Uh, Northwest Arkansas is popping off. It's, we have the home of Walmart, we have the home of Tyson, we have the home of JB Hunt, three of the largest companies of the world. Uh, there's 2,000 small businesses that want to deal business with Walmart that have to keep an office open in Northwest Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Tyson just moved uh, six, I think I don't remember the number. I'm not going to quote it because I don't want to be wrong, but it's like several hundreds of jobs to Northwest Arkansas, which caused a huge spike. And a huge chunk of my money goes directly into equity because this loan is so matured at this point. So I, I, it, at the end of the day, I would rather keep the home as best I could, take care of the people that I can take care of, keep building equity. And I honestly think it puts me in a tightrope situation where it makes me stream more. It makes me make more YouTube videos. It makes me try harder. See, I, I, I don't really see that. You've been on a tightrope situation for the last couple of years. Yeah. Well. It's never been this tight. <laughs> this is as tight as it gets, you know? And, and see, this is the thing. Like, yeah, sure, it's cool. But, like, how can you ever expect anybody to feel bad for that? It sounds like you just gambled want, away I your don't. money and that's what it is, you the, know? The, right. If you look at this you, at this documentary we made, does mm -hmm. that look like a documentary was designed to make somebody feel bad for me? Of course not. It sounds. It, it honestly, it felt like that was the intention, but because you're no, somebody that not. I believe you, obviously no, it's it, it. looks like that from its intention. I mean, do you not understand how bad this documentary makes you look when you were out doing that's that? That's my job point. That's exactly my point. Yeah. Because you were out club, trying to get whatever, a, get a radio sub. You're not going to go like this. When you were oh, out oh, trying oh, to get a job, a when you were out trying to find this job or whatever. Right. Like what happened with that? Like why did you absolutely throw away that opportunity? Like so a, we went yeah, in, you took a we dump went in, all over that. We, we went into the job interview. Uh, mm -hmm. That is not a job interview. It's a staffing agency to be okay. Prepared. Exactly, you're doing a market. Yeah, hold on, cool. Exactly. On. So it's a staffing agency, and you we talked be a little staffable. bit beforehand. You gotta, you gotta be staffable right. though. Right. We <laughs> talked a little bit beforehand and made it abundantly clear that there was not anything this company was going to be able to do for. Me. See, I can talk. So, uh, we decided to. I decided. To have fun with it and i just went into my andy kaufman mode tried to have fun with it and that's what we put into the doc and the extended scene i hope shows that very clearly but walking into that staffing agency in the first five minutes we knew there's nothing this company could do for me so why not have fun with it i also did the same thing is that, is that um, like the attitude you have when you walk into anything that could change your life it's like this couldn't happen there's nothing could do it I, well no like, once they tell me that it can't then sure yeah once they tell me that no we're no not in that video like she pretty much said hey if you have the mentality of i can't i can't i can't then you won't and she was right Right, but that's after she told me it was after we were abundantly clear there's nothing this company would be able to do for me so so you walk into an interview and you tell them okay listen this is all the negative things about me by the way if you look up me on the internet i there, you might hear me beat my wife or i'm a all this shit right, it's like yeah, you know yeah. like that's gonna f like that is that right. i would never have done that i would have never done so. that if there was a chance that i could get a job there obviously Okay, Obviously. what about the time when Meta PCs offered you a job? Why didn't you take that? Because that was a bit. How does people not realize that was just a bit? He never offered that was a, a job. Bit? 
I, I'm a, I'm, I'm one of their affiliates, man. We were trying to sell PCs. You, you, you guys have to know that, right? Like, Sounds ask like Zach. That. Ask Zach. That was never an offer. Zach will confirm that. I don't even know what the f the bit was, so I can't. I get, say. Yeah, it's like it's like these are like some insanely like bits that just fly over everyone's head for some reason. It's kind of cute. I, like what the. F I, 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 haven't, I haven't seen it. It could very no. well be a bit. I'm not. I'm just saying I haven't seen it. Which is why I respect the opinion that people think I'm a compulsive liar because sometimes this stuff is. But yes, Zach wasn't actually offering me a job. We were trying to sell some PCs. I wasn't actually getting offered a job that day. If I did, I would have taken it very seriously. But we knew there was no job to be had here, so I decided to Andy Kaufman it a little bit. Why not? Have this fun is what it. I wanted to bring up. Classy Tech actually brought up a very good point. You realize the bubble, the housing bubble could burst, right? And what happens if it bursts? Then your housing price is worth less than you actually. It, right. But like I said, if I sell tomorrow, I clear up $200,000, $225,000 after repairs, closing costs, new carpets, new paint, all this stuff. Um, and I, I do need that money. I'd love to have it. Uh, where do I go? You Where downsize into like an apartment or something, man. Like, like something small. Or like a small said, yeah, like a condominium, exactly. That like you a two bedroom own. condominium. That's but not going to be too much. But if you look in Northwest Arkansas, there's not a lot of options uh, in, in, a, in a price range that makes a lot of sense. We sat down. I, I know you guys it don't believe It just sounds like you. I, hold want on. To, I, hold yeah, on. Hold sure, on. I know you guys ahead. don't believe I have friends, mm -hmm. but I sat down I with my you. CVA. Who said that? A lot of people. Like, uh, people, every time I mention I have a friend who has a job, they're like, you don't have a friend. Uh, but Who like, says that? I don't say that. Well, like I had a friend that, in yeah. PR, and they're like, "You don't have a friend in PR." I have a friend who works for the feds. You don't have a friend that has a fed. So when cool. I tell okay. you, I know we're not those people. So I believe yeah, you yeah. have a friend. Well, I do have ahead. a CPA sure. friend mm -hmm. who's been helping with some tax shit, and we sat down one day, and we've discussed a bunch of different things. The most promising thing, and this is something I don't want to do, and I talked about this when Tom was here. Um, he wants me to get on a disability trust because I am disabled. I've been disabled since 2007. And I can draw benefits. The problem is we would have to take all my existing assets, put it into a trust, and then I could get back on Medicare and have health insurance again. So that's something we're considering doing. Um, but on top of that, we've sat down and we've crunched the numbers. And we've not found a lot of things that make a lot of sense other so, than just so get I, back to I also I also crunched the numbers, too, because... I like to research these situations and get down to the bottom of it. With Tom, actually, you said that your best earning month on YouTube was thirty grand with sponsors. Yeah, yeah. So, how? Explain to me real quickly. So, in two thousand and I think it was eighteen or nineteen, sure. whatever, when you made half a million four hundred ninety-eight thousand U.S. dollars specifically. Even if you you know multiply thirty by twelve, which is like some real utopian ass accounting, that's still sure. not even coming close to clearing four hundred ninety-eight thousand. So, like. What is up with these weird discrepancies in like income? Like that's that's uh, that's at least one hundred and ten thousand dollar discrepancies. What I don't know, man. There? Like if you need to see my taxes, I'll, I'll, I've got them all on my hard drive. You can see them. Uh, I don't know. I mean, then, a lot of times it, when I quote numbers, gets, like but you, what well, the f like admittedly, this, like, what, a lot of times when I quote numbers, I'm not expecting that level of scrutiny. But you're welcome to see them if you need to, Muda. But it's a documentary. Dude, yeah, it's like this is a documentary <laughs> that you. Oh well, wait, wait. To, like, so I thought you were talking about. I thought you were talking, talking, about, a, I thought you were talking about a conversation with Tom. Yeah, yeah no, with Tom. Somewhere, you see, with Turkey somewhere Tom, in the documentary, say I made thirty thousand dollars. Yes, in with Turkey Tom, a couple months ago, five yeah. months ago, you said that your best earning month was thirty thousand with sponsors. Yeah. In the actual documentary, well, it might have been closer one to of your years. Two, it might have been closer to thirty-five. I don't know. Thirty-two and thirty-five isn't going to fucking dramatically give you one hundred and ten thousand extra like shortfall. So what? W the numbers are so odd. Nothing in your math actually adds up. Like half a million in one year, and then there's tweets well, of you saying I paid one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars in like taxes or something too. So it's like, well, I even I mean, if you if you want to see these numbers, it will bring you peace of right. mind. I'll just send you everything. I don't really give a shit. I'm not your accountant. Like I'm not the IRS. Like it's if, just like, if, if I it's that important to, to you, I, it, if it's that important, I mean, I'll show you I the think, numbers. I think the truth is important, right? Like, I think yeah. being factual, I think when you have a well, fan I ball, base, because like I ball one of my it might have been 35. You, it might one have of my issues with you is, I don't know. Is, is this guilt? Is, is this guilt tripping you due to your fan base? What Especially when it comes to money. Right now? Especially when it comes to money. It's like, I'm about Did to lose my house. I made that mistake about, last year and I haven't no, mentioned it since. Let me, let me explain. When it comes to money, you're always yeah. telling your fans, I wish I could do better. I wish, you know, like I wasn't on my dire straits. And now when we're looking at your revenues and you're talking about your earnings, there's such a discrepancy there. So do, am I supposed well, to believe I can that? Fix are, these am discrepancies I, for you. I'll set you down and you can see them. 
am I supposed to believe that you're at your financial wits or maybe you have more money than you let on because nobody has any idea. You're not giving factual numbers. I literally then, posted. And then I know, you get I literally, a little, hold on. I get literally a little bit posted, angry. You get a little snippy with posted, me when you tell me shit about this. I and I'm literally telling you right posted, now these discrepancies are not Muda, something I, I like literally posted my bank account sure. info and my crypto info in the local chat. You can see how much money I have. I'm not Unless in the think, local chat. Well, you were when I posted it last week. Do uh, you think I looked through every single thing on there? Like, I'm not even a paid member of the Lowell well, Cow podcast. Well, I'm saying is, through it? If, if you're still in it, you can go look right now. I'm not in Unless it. you think I have, like, a stack of cash laying around, that's everything. I'm not in that right now, nor do I see your tax information, nor do I need to see it. I just need to explain. I need you to tell me for a man who's watched this documentary before its release and you stood by it, how could yeah. you stand by such glaring discrepancies? They weren't that important to me, and I forget how important. So you're telling me the exact amount of money you make when that's such a big part of your like complaining, of like this whole complaint. thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know how much money I made. I don't care what you guys know or think. I, that's not that important to me. I don't. So you're I, willing. So you're willing to give us false information when we try correcting yeah, you on it. You it's get a snippy. documentary. Well, uh, again, like I said, you you got to take that up with Mike. Unfortunately, he he ballparked the numbers. Wait, wait, you gave the information. You were the to Mike. one who's no, the one him, giving No, I did not give him that information. I did not. What do you mean? He had access. You were the one talking about this with him. You were in your tub showing him your bank account. Hold on, you were hold there. On a second. Hold on a second. Okay. Let me call Mike. Let's get him in. On this I, I guess Mike is like the biggest liar then, right? No, Mike's he's like, not. Holy shit. He just, again, well, apparently he's not Mike's used to the level the of insane more. scrutiny that you guys feel you need to have. I guess Mike must like uh, absolutely. What the if anyone, but if anyone else made a documentary like this and had discrepant, big financial discrepancies, they'd be yeah, you'd be f***ing mad, you'd be yelling at us, you'd be like, Where no, I wouldn't. I'm so used to you being wrong about me, I'm numb to it at this point. How am I wrong about you? I don't. I called I, about I, these discrepancies. I, that's what I'm, I'm talking about you. in the past, man. And uh, how I have I been wrong in the past? Please explain exactly how I've been wrong in the past. My 18 year old girlfriend's like f***ing start when she's not 18. That's I never made a start. public statement. You by tweeted the way. that. Never. Last week you tweeted. When did I that tweet about? Week? When did I tweet? What you did said I tweet you're exactly? telling people she's 18. I never. Oh uh, no, because I never was did. The one that talked about it in that leak. No, but chat, you tweeted it. It's in. on your f***ing feed right now. You tweeted. What do you mean? When you you're tell the, people your you girlfriend is 18. People, when yeah, you tell when you people, I never did. I never did. That's what he told us. I never did. But I did. That's what he told us. But you are factually incorrect. Did I make that? Did I? Did I speak about that publicly until you made? Yes, it's on your Twitter feed. Yeah, I quote tweeted. Yeah, because you were bringing no, it you up didn't. publicly. Yes, no, I did. you didn't. That was a yes, something. That was a completely separate yes. tweet. You were the one that brought it up. The I point that I'm making is you are still so you're lying right now. The point that I'm making is you're still wrong. There, I never you're still I have her ID in my wallet. I, I know how old she is. You literally just she's lied not, she's so 20 hard. years old. And now you're so how long? mad that you got caught in this lie. It's because not a I lie. It's on your Twitter I feed quote, right now. Yeah, Go check your Twitter feed right now. I'm looking Go at it. check your Twitter feed right now. It's on there right now. It's on there right now. It's on there right now. Go look at your Twitter feed. It's on there right now. I ain't lying to nobody. It's on there right now. Go look at it. It's not there. I'm not lying about anything. It's on there yeah, you said I'm looking it looking at it you're the i quote you, you said it you said it. that i said that and i never did quote i never I did i never did i never did i never did i you did i never did i got a question i never did i never did i never did but you See, said i did this, this is the best that's part. you when being you wrong about me that's you being wrong about me that's you being wrong about me i that's you oh, being God. wrong about me. Oh, what, how's, like how's it feel, like Muda? How's it feel, Muda? How's it feel, Muda, to be caught in the lie? Sure, Woo, man, guess, how's right, it feel, we'll, Muda? We'll for you to calm down, I guess. Jesus Christ. And then I can deconstruct exactly how you're wrong. I how am I wrong? You. Did you tweet that I, I said that she was 18? Yes, I did. I quote I never did. No, I never I did. I never did. I never did, though. I've never said it. I've never said it. I've never said it. I've never said it. 50 year old man, dude. Jesus Christ. I've never said it. Whew, man. I never <sighs> will say it because she's not. She never was 18 when I knew her. Yeah, so I why would I ever say The fact it? that you were talking about me how long, in some how group long, chat. How long were you talking oh, to God her? God damn, dude. For? Uh, we just celebrated our one year anniversary today. We officially started talking mm -hmm. uh, November 10th, last November year. November 10th of what year? Last year. One, one okay. year. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Jesus which would have made her 19 at the time. We started dating when she was uh, 20, when she turned 20 in March. And uh, we met for the first time in June. And, and she legal pe- legal is legal, and that's all that matters to me. But you don't think? No, I mean it matters to me. I wouldn't want to date an eighteen year old. You know, Why? Yeah. Don't you think that's like put, kind of dumping your trauma on her? I mean, I mean, no. he doesn't care. <laughs> he I mean, was sitting no. there telling her every single health issue that he had, and she started to cry in front of him. What do you think I she's going to go through? So this is my belief. I believe, and you might disagree. But I believe that if someone is going to be in your life, they need to be informed. Mm. And, and so I want to make sure that she fully... And basically fully... remind them that you're basically at death's door? I w- oh, yeah, that's really I good, I wanted huh? to set her down and make sure she fully understood what she was walking into. What do you think her reaction was going to be? What do you think? A normal person is going to get up and run away? Or do you think they're going to get you know forcibly attached to you? Because, shit, I'm a real bad person if I run I mean, away when this got person's a, she's dying. Got a pr- she's got a pray great place to go i don't know if you're aware of this but do you know that one of the biggest causes of divorce is people getting uh sick did you know that did you know that people have cancer their significant others leave them very frequently did you know that so yes yeah we we know this the the, the, one of the most common responses to someone being as sick as i am would be to leave she chose yeah but she's like yeah but she's psychologically damaged though yeah I, I that's mean, got daddy things. issues i mean, so I mean shit she even sat there and was like if you cheat on her you're good she'll still let it go because you're a YouTuber. yeah we had a, we had a like really a good moment response, we had a really good moment on the live stream the other night and she mm-hmm. came in here i'm like baby if i ever cheat on you you gotta promise me you'll cut my dick off and she's like of course <laughs> yeah she's she's got social anxiety she's like me she says silly shit sometimes when the pressure's on it's really yeah, hard. Yeah, but I, I'd even re- I'd even realize that for her to say that she would still be with you if you cheated, like it's just. It's, she immediately yeah. regretted saying it. Like we talked about it that night, and Does, we yeah, about it but then. Freudian Doesn't... slips are Freudian slips. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's it just doesn't seem healthy. Yeah, I get that. At the end of the day, she's got loving parents that'll take care of her, and uh, when she's ready to go, she can go, and uh, I'll be glad to help her. Uh, you know, at, when at the end she's of the day, ready to go, she can go. What are you waiting for her to leave? No, I'm saying if that's something she decides she wants to do, she's you don't think to do it. you don't do think it, you're you know? you do not think you're necessarily being selfish, taking away these years from her life. I think that she is an adult. I think that she has agency. I think that she knows that she has multiple places that she could be. She mm-hmm. knows that she's got plenty of people that would pursue her. She's got a loving family that would take care of her. That miss her very much. We're going to go have Thanksgiving with in a couple of weeks, um, and she knows that she has options. If she chooses to be here then she has every choice to be here. And I'm going to make it an awesome time the whole time she's here. Uh, we have a good time. We watch her shows. We, we play our games. Uh, we, we take what little time together we can. And she's happy, and I'm happy. And if she's ever not happy, I fully expect mm-hmm. her to tell me so we can solve the problem. Simple. Hey, Rich, I'm going to send you, um, I'm going to send you something in the chat. You think you can put it in the, on the stream? I can't this, see uh, that. This is think, the, uh, this show is me. The, uh, can you read it to me or whatever? It is? This is the actual tweet that um, Boogie is uh, saying that I mentioned about him. Eighteen. I want you to tell me who I'm quote tweeting in this. Who started this uh, contract? Who started this uh, first? Please. What are read, you so that, read, read the tweet. Read the tweet. Read the tweet to Zoom, or I sent it, it to you in the Zoom meeting chat. Yeah, read the tweet okay. to us, please. Yes, I read the tweet exactly. Anything. And I sent you an image as well too that shows you the deleted tweet from the individual I quote tweeted. Just tell me who that individual is. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to say I didn't start the conversation. No, 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 no. Shut, the, shut, shut the shut okay. You started, uh, you, you were literally hiding that. You were, you were screaming like a baby. I I'll keep screaming at a baby. It. You said that she was, I said that she was 18. All right, I never so knew. there's that. I, I, I can't. How do I see not, it? Can I, is there a way to see it? In hold the, on. The I'm going to get that too. I'm going to get that too. <laughs> Sorry to do this to you when you're high, man. It's okay. I, I. I, I I was just going to play with the tape deck like a nice little middle-aged man tonight. And uh, here I am. Yeah, who's who am I who am I responding to there, Rich? Who uh, started yeah. this? What did you say though? Isn't that important too? It's all right what there. You say, Y'all yeah. expect me to go wild about these Keemstar Moodle leaks where they shit talk me. I wouldn't have expected anything else from that type of group or chat. Uh, Mudahar quote tweets, but I didn't privately shit talk you. I'm very open about my dislike of you. I think you are one very manipulative person who loves to take advantage of your fans. Creators asked you about your weird relationship when you publicized it, which you very much did, Boogie. We all thought it was creepy. 
Now, uh, again, before Boogie talks over, when oh, he's talking about group chat, group chat is a private chat that creators have between each other. This is not a public statement of fact. Under it, I said, when you tell people a girl you met just turned 18, because Keemstar was the one that told us about this in a group chat, and we were kind of a little bit grossed out. But I didn't make a public matter of fact statement because that's just Keemstar's word. I'm not going to publicly defame somebody when there's no hard proof. So before you go, I never did. I never did. There you go. That's your lie that you got caught up in. So uh, wait, uh, so you talk your way through it. Read the tweet again. Yo, read the, read your tweet. tweet. I'm so sorry. I, I'm I'm done with some shit. <clears throat> read read your tweet again, if you don't mind. Y'all expect me to go wild about these keys. No, no, no. His uh, his tweet, the one where he says that I was telling people that she was 18. Can you tell me that part again? Uh, when you tell people a girl you meet just turned 18, it creeps us all out. You're a gross. You see, I never said that, though. So there, Keemstar right. said that. Keemstar told us that. Yeah, but I didn't. And that's what's important. You said okay. that I okay. said Okay. So then, so then you why are you getting mad at me? It. You said that I said it. When you said I that I said that? it. You just Yeah, because Keemstar said again. that you said it to him. But I so never did. what am I going to do? Well, anyway. Then, then, so Keemstar. Keemstar. There you go. Low Cal chat. Why do you work with a guy that just slandered you? What the you're such I, a bitch. I'm a why? forgiving guy, man. I, 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 why? It. Keemstar's going to make me money. I'm just here to make money. Background and you're okay with Keemstar it. just wants fuck? to make me money. I'm here to make me money. I, you know, man, you're the one who tweeted it. Mad, bro. Didn't you point out that it was a private oh. chat? Didn't you point out it was a private chat? You're the one that mentioned it. You brought that private chat up into the limelight. You mentioned be my name in that post. That's why I both mm -hmm. tweeted you. I wasn't going to mention a private Keemstar's chat. Keemstar's asking me to save it for the locale podcast. I'm going to save it for the locale podcast. But have a good one. Wild, you bro. did say that publicly. I said that she was 18. I didn't right. say shit oh, publicly. You did. I didn't. You did say that. You did right I there. I didn't make a tweet. public matter of statement. The tweet that he just did. You, need to, you need to go back to a fucking school and relearn how to read properly. Hey, because uh, Rich, my God. Read, that, read that to me one more time, could you? Yeah, please. Uh, read the, it again, the part please. where he says that she's 18. Could you do that again? Yeah. I Did yes, I yeah. say that? I said people said that she was 18. No, in no, the group no. You were referencing. Read it again for me real quick, When you tell people a girl you met just turned 18, it's See, just I never did, though. When you night, tell guys. people a, night, a girl you just met But I never did, 18. though. That person is I never Keemstar. did, though. Keemstar I never said did, it though. to us. Have a good night. Okay, so you're saying, all right, cool. Then he just f***ing leaves, I guess. <laughs> did he really uh, just leave? Oh, he yeah, really he, did He left because he gets rolled. That's what happens. He gets fucking bodied. Like, you want to call me out cool you can call me out for a million mother reasons but to say that i just said in that statement that i called his girlfriend 18 when i said other people said it in that group chat that he was referring to by the way he deletes tweets like a bitch i had to go find that off of like one of the hate forums and i had to show that right here just to clarify it this is what I, he gets caught in a lie right here and he goes home and cries and he's probably crying when he's playing super mario wonder his whole body was a act of wonder right now jesus christ and yeah dude he's made way more money than i don't i don't understand how he's had he was pre adpocalypse getting huge numbers for years so he's made more money than he's letting people know about i don't care what he says or what papers he shows me there's no way there's no way that he was that he was did not have more zeros in his bank account I did, do you, or unless unless there's something I'm missing. I do try, if we can't apparently trust the documentarian or the person being like documented. I guess every statement that we read are just bullshit. I don't know. I don't know. Again. Honestly, like, it's just insane. This is like, and here's the thing, okay? When anybody's like, I get mad. It's just like lying pisses me off. It really does. It really just angers me to the point that like. Like, and you know what pisses me off more is when you bring my credibility in action. I f***ed up in the past when it comes to credibility, even when it would like Ethan Klein and everything. Since then, learning is the most important thing, especially when yes. it comes to facts like this. I try to like triple check everything. So like when you like question me a million times, at least, at least put some effort. Don't scream like a baby. I had to, I literally had to find this quote. It took me five minutes to find the deleted tweet and show that. And that's why he left. Because it's like, what are you going to, what are you going to do? You know? Uh, anyway yeah, thank you man for coming on because yeah, no, it's great to be on dude thank you yeah you're welcome have a good night and i appreciate it right. take care man take care effective immediately effective immediately effective immediately
j'espère que tu t'es vu. Oui, oui.